All right, YouTube, so back at it again. What you're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to lace paint your hood or any body part of your vehicle. If you ever felt like doing this, go to the Goodwill, Salvation Army, uh, any thrift store, they'll have these lace, I think this is a lace curtain. And so, just lay it at your a wide enough panel. What I'm gonna do, I'm just, I'm just gonna lace the hood. And I'm not looking to do anything super dramatic with the style as far as lines and extra masking. I'm just gonna do a real basic lace hood on this 88 Chevy. I've already done the marble effect on the body or some of the body you can see the marble effect with the plastic bag and paint. I use metallic um, sort of like aluminum paint so prepping the hood is essential for any body part unless you don't care if it chips off but you want to sand the clear off 320 grit and then Lay down your lace, tape it, paint it with like a dust layer of paint, and I'll try to get the next step recorded. But here it goes nothing. Alright, so hood is sanded, 320 grit, and now just position your lace the way you want it. Mask it. Alright, so here's what I did as far as taping it off. This thing is not going to be perfect, but if you watch my other videos, I never really do anything so it's perfect. Half because I'm rushing, half because it's not like this is a thousand dollar paint job. Just saw this style. Wanted to try it out, so for those who just don't really care about how it comes out, have an idea, try it out, give it a shot. And this is the color I'm using. Krylon Color Master Metallic Brilliant Silver. That's what gave me that metallic effect. That's what's going to give me the lace effect. Alright, so what I did is used about the rest of that can. So I did one, use that can for this pattern on the side, and now I use the rest of the can on the hood. So, I might just, probably not a really good coverage, probably could have done a lot better, but I'm just going to take it off now and see what it looks like, uh, rather than let it stay on there and dry and get sticky. So I just peeled it off, and gave it this faded lace look. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet, but it gets the idea across that there was a lace pattern on here, and it does show through <coughs> the color. I didn't really do anything special. Like I said, I just found this lace at the thrift store in the Goodwill. I think they charged me a dollar and eighty, maybe two dollars for it. It's a curtain price. And I laid it on here, sprayed it. I didn't even use a lot of paint. I actually ran out. I thought it was gonna come out more blotchy. But it's definitely not perfect. Uh, but if you wanna get a pattern on your car that looks different, which is always what I'm after. Someone say, what the heck did he do to that car? And I've seen this lace pattern done before. And I saw a couple of guys on YouTube do it. But they were doing like professional paint booth stuff. And this is me in my little garage, my carport. <clears throat> Nothing special about what I've done right now. And I think the point is across that it's a lace hood. So if you want to do a lace hood for that was on clearance, I'm pretty sure you can get one by Rustolium. 
This is on clearance for like four dollars, but probably the regular price one is seven dollars, eight dollars. And then I got that lace thing for two dollars, and I had this carbo laying around. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here on this chrome strip. I saw this I, this soap Dawn dish soap idea that I might want to try. You put Dawn dish soap. And then you spray a color on top of it, and then it gives you like a pattern. So I've got this car patterned out. The hood is lace. And I got the marble effect over here. I could eventually do this part lace, but I want to work on that when I get this grill changed out. It's cracked. Yeah, it's cracked. Anyways, one step at a time. One project at a time. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll take a video when it's all done. The whole box is up. Alright, so here it goes. Dawn soap. And I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of drizzle. So that was drizzle, <laughs> that was drizzle in no particular way or order, fashion, that's just me trying to be fancy with it and laying down some Like I said, I've never done this before I just saw it and so I want to try it It's a little bit more. This side can use a little bit more. I'm gonna stop so I can see what I'm doing. So I couldn't record and press the spray at the same time. So here it is with the black laid down on the soap. Really, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do next. I guess I'm supposed to clean it off. But to be honest, I'm not really sure. I've never done this before. So I'll let you know how that goes. So I'm gonna let this dry and then wash the soap off. This is sort of a goodbye can. This is sort of a therapeutic part. So here's how it turned out. That black stripe with the metallic silver. I wish I would have done a different color. Maybe if I had done just the white underneath and the silver stripe. <clears throat> Could always change it. But this was about a lace hood and not um and not that dawn dish soap effect. <clears throat> so this is the lace hood. That's how it looks in the sun. When you're looking at it close up, you can tell the imperfections, but if you if you're just looking at it, a quick glance, you sort of you'll miss it. But anyways, that's that. It's gonna cost a few bucks for a different look on the car. Some people will hate it. 
and that stripe. Some people definitely hate those stripes I added. I kind of am not a fan myself, but you don't know until you try. And I tried this effect that I seen on the internet, and it looks looks decent. Well, anyway, this is a little lace hood. I'm trying to get it all different types of sunlight. If you like this video, subscribe. I'll do any of my more wacky videos on crazy ideas. And uh, if you have a technique or texture you think would look cool, let me know and I'll probably try it. Catch you guys in the next one.